Let me do any first impressions video on a cheapie. Uh, this is Antonio Banderas Black Seduction. I believe at one point this was called Seduction in Black. The same fragrance. This is super cheap. You can get a 200 ml of this, uh, 6.8 ounce, for like 20 bucks. I got this from Fragrance Net. Uh, mainly got it to just, you know, I, I have others from the line. I have Blue and I have King of Seduction. And they are good cheapies. They're good for the gym. They don't last very long. They smell pretty good. So Blue Seduction smells like Versace Mano Fresh. Slightly more synthetic, as you'd expect. And the other one, King of Seduction, smells like it has an Invictus vibe. You get that great bubblegummy kind of Imbroxany uh, feel from it. It does, however, also have a pineapple uh, opening, which really kind of makes it very interesting to me. My girl loves King of Seduction. Again, though, the performance on these aren't great. Uh, they're great for the gym, great for running quick errands. You're lucky if you get three hours out of them. Um, but for the price, I mean, who's to complain? Box looks pretty cool. These bottles are usually pretty generic. Um, and by pretty, I mean very. Uh, but for the money, what do you expect? Absolutely generic. This is giant square box. It's clear. Label in the middle. Plastic cap. Okay? Nothing, nothing crazy. Uh, but, again, super cheap. So, I believe these are EDT concentration. Again, they don't last long. Uh, this one's interesting, though. The notes are tops, blackcurrant, and bergamot, mids, nutmeg, cardamom, uh, coriander, and base is tonka bean, amber, musk, and virginia cedar. So the opening is kind of like Inventus, uh, minus the pineapple, but a lot of Ventus clones or style Ventus style fragrances use bergamot instead. The mid is very spicy, nutmeg, cardamom, and coriander, and the base is heavy in the sense that you have tonka bean and amber musk. So it's got the woody base, so it does have the musk and the cedar in there. Uh, so that's similar in a way to Aventus, but again, it's got amber and tonka bean. So it's, it's kind of... I've seen people on Fragrantica compare it to Aventus. I've seen other people compare it to uh, Armani Code, which mainly Code is most known for that Tonka bean. Uh, so we'll inter I'm interested to see what it smells like. Again, I figured it'd be a good gym scent. Uh, for the price, I figured it was worth reviewing. Like I said, I have been relatively happy with everything from the house. Performance obviously isn't great, but for the money, who's to complain? Spare is decent for the cost. Oh, wow. Yeah, definitely not like Aventus from what I'm getting. I mean, you're getting the bergamot, but you get those spices out the gate as well as the tonka bean. I see the Armani Code resemblance. Because again, the tonka bean is the most prominent thing in Armani Code. And it's, it's definitely very present, uh, even in the opening. But you get this fresh citruses with it. Now, I imagine as it dries down, obviously the woods are going to come out more and you're going to be left with kind of that tonka bean, amber, and uh, the woods. This smells sexy, though. Very sexy. You see this being mass appealing. You see this being a definitely compliment. Uh, very well complimented fragrance. It smells synthetic. It is, obviously, for the price. Uh, but this does, if you like Armani Code... I think you'd really enjoy this. This is a slightly fresher take on Armani Code. It's not as heavy. It, you could see you wearing this actually in the summer where I would never wear Armani Code in the summer. It's definitely sweet. Again, the tonka bean is very prominent. And you, you do get the amber. Uh, the bergamot is very, as soon as you spray it, you get the citruses. It's still there now too, but I imagine it's going to fade as it starts to dry down. And you do get the spices. It's a spicy tonka bean fragrance. Basically, it's what you get with some citrus in the opening. Uh, so it, it's like, it does resemble Armani Code, like I said, but it's fresher. It has a spiciness to it. I feel like it'd be perfect now in the fall. Like, really good right now in the fall. Um, you know, especially to, again, where just getting, running errands or um, maybe to the gym. Uh I don't know that I'd wear this out at night because I don't know that it would last long enough. Uh, but, you know, if you can reapply, it'd be worth it. That said, I like this a lot. I I honestly think I prefer this over King of Seduction, which was my favorite from the house until now. This is something I see myself wearing a lot more. 
it's still sweet, but it's not that bubblegummy grape sweet. I do like King of Seduction. Again, I'll wear it to the gym and stuff, but this is more versatile. Yeah, this is good. Definitely a Tonka bean. Again, dominant. You get the amber and the spices. Now, I can't pick out specifically nutmeg or anything like that or coriander, but it just has the spiciness about it. There is the cardamom that's going to remind you kind of along the lines of, you know, loam or something like that. I'll do it. But it's not as dominant. The tonka bean is more dominant, but you can smell it sitting there in the background. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Uh, for the money. Now, obviously, it's synthetic. Performance is probably not going to be great. But if you're looking for a fall cheapie that you can just spray on and kind of, you know, just go out and run some errands, it's going to smell good and it's going to be mass peeling. This is it. Again, fragrance net. This is 6.8 ounce. You can get for 20 bucks. I'll let you all know how the dry down is. I'll also let you all know how performance is as I wear it more. But right now, it smells really good. Uh, certainly, so far, my favorite from the house. Now, I will be reviewing this one next, which is supposed to be, a lot of people say, is also another really good fall fragrance cheapie from the house. Uh, a lot of people on Fragrantica said this is the best from the house. The Secret Temptation, this is definitely fall fragrance. Uh, whereas this one, I think the Tonka Bean uh, and the Amber just make it lean more for the fall. But it's certainly more versatile. You could wear this in the heat. Whereas, again, a Monte Code, I wouldn't personally wear in the heat. This, you could get away with it due to the citruses and due to the lighter nature of the Tonka Bean. It's very prominent, but it's not as... Um, in your face as it is in something like Armani Code. So anyway, again, uh, this is a great pickup for the price. You can probably get, I believe, the 100 mil for like 12 bucks. So it's worth a shot if you're looking for something cheap for the fall.